Head on into Riven. Uh, I will say that I am. I think I'm. I think I'm ready for this game to be done. I think I'm ready for it to be done now. <clears throat> so last night we were here, and this is when my internet kind of went real bad. And uh, <clears throat> I was just double checking the locations of the power domes on these maps. And I was also looking for like a sixth dome or something somewhere like, I don't know. It's just because I, we have six colors and I don't know what to do with the sixth color, which is either the sixth color is either blue or yellow. Uh, and, and the other one that's if it's blue, then the yellow one is the fifth island. And if it's yellow, then the blue one is the fifth island. Um, oh, good. And it, and it crashed right away. So good. We got, we're going to get that out of the way. We're going to get that out of the way right away. It always crashes like once. And then we're good. It always crashes once, and then it's then after it's fine. And honestly, I don't exactly know where we were, what we were doing, like where, like how where I was in terms of like checking all these uh, topographies, these kind of maps. So, but we were we were doing that. So let's continue doing that. Uh, I was also double checking, right? Like, yeah, okay. So that's in, that's that's right. That's right. I got that one drawn in the right spot. Just rotate this a little bit. I do feel like I have very little clue as to... I mean, I don't think we're going to find anything here. And I feel like we have very little clues as to what exactly that six color is. Okay, so this this one is Yeah, one that way and and none that way, okay.
Yeah, that's in that corner there. That's right there. Uh, I just want to check one thing with this one. Um... Yeah, that's that's where it is. That's where that's where I've drawn it. All right, I don't. I think we've got the information from here. I don't know if there's anything else that we can get from here. So, no, oh, click the button, please. I don't think he, I don't think, uh, Gan mentions much in his journal here, uh, about the colors. I think all he says is that there are six colors for some reason. He's like, why are there six colors? Everything, everything in this place is, has to do with five. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you're, you're right. It does. So I don't know why there's six colors. Um... This is too far in the journal. See? Although superficially it is based on a six color system, I am convinced that there has to be a deeper connection to five. I will continue to investigate. So, um... The only thing is, like, the purple light underwater is broken. So, there was only five. I don't know if that means anything.
and this here so this is red orange yellow green blue purple that's those are the colors And we know we know four of the four of these symbols. We we know uh, that they correspond. Which lights? The lights. Uh, remember when you were looking underwater in the water? Yeah. And then you could you could spin. There was a dial with these symbols on them. And then when you spun it around and you click the button uh, that you've that you've that you've spun it to, then it lit up a light of a certain color and this was or, or red orange uh, yellow green blue and uh this one uh i'm guessing is purple because there's a purple there's a purple little marble or whatever um but this light was broken and then that that symbol this symbol corresponds to uh, the power dome on island number three. And I don't know if that means anything. So the broken light underwater is... Well, I, I'm just going to double check. I'm just going to double check. We're here anyways. We might as well double check. Just to make sure I got everything right. Pretty sure I did. I looked at that a long time. So. If we go down here. And we start this thing back up again. And we look through here. This will be the symbol with just a line through it, like the vertical line through it. You can see that that one's highlighted. So that, that we have right. And then when I stop it, you can get a clear shot of it. See? And what I have written down here is that that corresponds to purple. But what's the sig what's the significance of colors and five? I don't I don't I don't know what that could be. You know what? Let's go. Let's go to the underwater observatory and let's uh let's um just take a look.
what did Gen figure out about the colors in five? I mean, he's obviously has six different marbles. There. I tried not just not using one of them. I tried the the so the one island we don't know the color for is uh well island five, which is the tree island. You know, there's also those illuminations. I don't know if it's, there's anything to do with colors in those things. I don't think there are, but I don't think there are any colors on, on those illuminations in that one room, the ro the rotating room on the first island. But uh, you do get an overview of all the islands there, and uh, including the fifth one. So I don't know if, that's, if there's a clue there or not. We're, we are in confirmation mode now. We, I want to confirm all the information that I have just to make sure that it's correct. Because when things don't work, I have to go back a step and confirm everything that I, that I have currently. Um, so, we're going to go here. So this, this lever, and, uh, so look at it. So see, it's got, it's got these, this one, and we're on the broken one. So that one is broken. That should be purple, but it won't work because, and you can see that it's broken, right? Like it's, it's all just busted here. And I'm not sure what these are. Like what, I don't know what these lights are, but yeah. Okay. So then this one. This one next to it, this one should be blue. And that's blue. And this one should be green. Okay. This one should be yellow. Okay. This one should be orange. And then this, this is the last one. This one's red. And that's the one we're at. Do they line up with the different islands? I... Well, what do you mean? <laughs> Not really. It's kind of hard for me to... Well, it's also kind of hard for me to, like, kind of position myself as to where exactly we are down here. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure where we... Where, where, we're under the water, but I don't know exactly where. There was, um, 
At first I thought it was lining up with islands, but I don't, for some reason then I said, no, it's not, it can't be. But it's also, it doesn't have to really, cause this is just, I, th I think, I think all this is is a color teacher. You know what I mean? Like this is to teach us the colors. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's weird that we're at the red light. Oh, that's why. That's it. That, that's why. Because we're not on the red island. Or at least we're not on the island that has the red dome on it. The, the dome that... The color of the dome that we're on... Like on the so on, on island number four, which is this island, is orange. And for a while there, when I when I first when I first got to this room, I was confused because I was like, oh yeah yeah yeah, these 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 do line up with the islands, like because I thought we were on island number two, and island number two is red. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. It's a red light. We're on island number two. Right? But that's not, um, that's not, that's not how it works. Cause I was mistaken. We're not on island number two. We are, we are underwater, I guess, off the coast of island number four is where we are right now. I think, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't think, I don't think I don't think that hallway plus the stairs going up here is all the way under island number two. Like, that's a long way. Because you have to take you have to take a maglev there. And I don't I don't think. Okay, okay. Let's just pretend we are under island number two right now. Okay? Let's just pretend that. I'm willing to posit that. So uh, island number two. Let's just, let's just point it to us here on island number two. Okay, so now it's pointing, I think, directly at us because this is the big circular kind of window we're sitting in front of right now. You can kind of see the circle there. So we were facing one direction if... What island has the whale things that shows up? Well, this is this is the only island that we see the whales, or this is the only place that we can see the whales. Are you thinking of the, are you thinking of the friends on the beach, the hey friends on the beach that are and like those amphibians? Those are different. Hey Quinn. Okay. So, just for the sake of argument, I just kind of want to work through this. I just kind of want to. I just kind of want to work through this. Um, if we have gone that far underwater, which I don't think we have, I don't think we're that far. So, I don't think we're so far that we're actually under island number two right now, because that passageway plus these stairs leading up to this chair isn't that long pretty sure but let's just entertain the idea for now um which makes island two line up with the color like which makes this line up with the color properly uh if we turn No, it still doesn't make sense. Because this is pointing at us. And we didn't turn around. So, Island 2... So, Island f Island 4 is still in this direction if we are under Island 2. So, I don't think this lines up with the Island directions. Island 4...
uh, would be this one. Okay, I, 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 yeah. I mean, that's gotta be something though, right? I haven't figured out why this is red. Um, we're, I'm working on the puzzle, like, so we made it up onto, like, the top level of the, of the big dome, uh, once we figured out the, the stairs, and then there's, like, um, colored marbles that you have to put in a thing, and, uh, it's got, the thing is the layout of the islands, uh, in a, in a grid, right? And then, um, I, I, I think the way that I kind of fig the way that I figure that is the, uh, the place that you're supposed to put the marble is where the power domes are on those islands. So we went back to island number four. Well, this is island number four, but we went back to island number four and then we went to the topography room and we checked where all the power domes are on those islands and I drew maps. I drew them. I have a piece of paper with where those domes are on each of the islands. But uh, we got a couple, we got a little bit of a mystery here still. So uh, Island 5 we haven't been to. I only know of the Power Dome on Island 5 because of the map. Uh, I don't know what symbol is on the Power Dome for, pa for Island 5. Um, and I'm thinking because these symbols are different colors, right? That one's blue. That the symbols on the power domes correlate to the color of the marble that you should be using. Um, the other problem is, is that there's six colors and there's only five islands. And uh, I hate that. <laughs> And then, so we were just kind of like retracing our, like just kind of verifying our information at this point and just seeing. Thanks, Quinn. Um, the, so, that one's broken. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything more here than just figuring out the colors is the thing. I mean, and besides like getting the sound of the whale for the other room, which we've, we've done already. Um, but beside those two things, is this just a color teacher plus a sound teacher? <laughs> 
or is there more to this? Uh, again, I'm just, I'm, I'm not asking, I'm just working it through. Why is the red light here? And I'm not even sure... And Grumpy Friend, yeah. Like, these lights don't look that far away, is the thing. Because if we rotate around... It's like they're all in a group, and they're all kind of, like, attached with... Those... these... bars. Which I think are... power, if I'm not mistaken. Is that circular thing in the water near the creaky bridge? Near the creaky bridge. Circular thing, I don't know what either of the things you are talking about are. <laughs> circular thing in the water, is that, is it that circular thing in the water near the creaky bridge? Are you talking about the orb in the water? Um, sir, um, are you talking about the, like, there's, okay, near that mess, I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> mysterious ledge, Uh, I, I figured, I figured out what that, so remember, okay, I don't know if you're think I don't know if you're thinking about this thing or not, but, uh, remember that thing we were looking at before, like yesterday, and I'm like, I don't know what that is, and it was in, like, that village area with the lake on the second island, 
And I was like, I don't know what that is. That's weird. Up, and it was like, hey, up on the, it was high up on the, on the, uh, on like a cliff. And then, and then later I'm like, oh no, I've been there. I've been there before. That's the room with the switches. That's the room with the switches to extend the docks. I just didn't remember that that's what that was. And I did, I never really put that in. I never put that, um, Right, yeah, yeah. So that's not a mystery anymore. That's a place we were very early on in the game, actually. Uh, hey, Will, and hey, Quinn. Uh, congrats on the first of the day. I just saw. <laughs> like, we were we were there. We were there. We were, we were in that place already. There's switches in there, and you get a pretty good overview of that of that area from up there. There's like a circular thing in the water. Well, I don't. Oh, do you, um. Do you mean like on the ground, like on the bottom of the lake? There's also the, I mean, there's also the bit of, uh, there's also the, um, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like the security camera. Like if we, if we go over to, if we go over to, uh, no, fuck, go here. <laughs> you, have, you haven't missed much, Will. Don't worry. Like there's, there's this, there's this, which is a thing that's in the lake that you can see from the dock pretty clearly. Um, it just looks like a lens, like a periscope or something sticking out of some rocks. I don't know if that's what you mean. No, we haven't found the office yet. That's what we're looking for. Oh, the but like with the white, like with yeah. Okay, that's an elevator up to the top. It's not well. It elevator's the easiest way to explain it. Yeah, it just gets you up to the top. Um, and then you never have to use it again. It's a one time you can use it again, I think, but I don't think you have to. It's it's like once you get up there, then you can lower the ladder down when that's how I've been getting up there since. But yeah, we, we figured that out. That was remember when I said I sent you a picture 
on Telegram and it was like I never I never noticed this handle before. That's that handle makes that thing work. So <sighs> like I can't see anything out here. I mean, this wheel spins in reverse order. But I don't know if that's anything. Yeah, because that, like, look, that's not that far. I mean, it's a little bit of a ways, but it's not that far. Pac-Man. Hey, governmental po governmental po pod. Thanks for the follow. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Um. Okay. Yep, that's that should be in the right spot. That one is in the right spot. That one's apparently in the right spot, although I don't know if that one's blue or yellow. Well, and and that's just an assumption that I've I'm understanding what this is this is asking of me. Um I don't know. Put it I'm gonna put that right I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Put the blue one right in the middle. I want to check something. Okay, the stop is there. That's good. check like one of these. I don't know which one is which. Oh, I didn't realize that was a button to push before. I never pushed that button before. Uh, hang on. Like, I still don't think we understand what's going on here, but... Um...
Nein. Ja. Okay, that, that did something. It sounds like it's on now. I just didn't realize that was a button. I would have gotten that last night if I realized that was a button. That sounds like it's on now. It's doing something. Uh, now, the question I have is like, are all the domes the same, I wonder. Like, they all have... It's apparently the same book in them, but... Uh... Let's see here. Come on. Here we go. Well, they all have the same, but they all have the same book. Like, they all have the same, uh, number on the book. So. Okay, is this gonna work now? Huh. Oh. Let's 
save my game. The Power Dome sequence of puzzles is, you think, the hardest in the entire Myst franchise, really. So, like, I had all the information yesterday, I just didn't realize I had to push that button. <laughs> That's what... Yeah, missed be like that sometimes. Okay. I just pressed a thing. I apologize for the cage. I'm afraid this situation has often required of me a more primitive code of conduct than I might otherwise have chosen. I am Gen. I assume you've heard of me. Yes. Well, I suspect you have acquired some false information of who I am now. Not that my son would have lied to you about me. No, not Atris. It's just that, well, I'm sure he believes me to still be the depraved father I once was. Yes. I even tried to kill him once. God, if I had accomplished that, who knows what I would have become. A great father indeed, who tries to murder his own son. Thankfully, he trapped me on age five, a prison of my own creation. No books, no precious inks, no ages to link to, nothing but my own foolish ambitions. That was 30 years ago. 30 years. 30 lifetimes, what does it matter? No sentence could be too harsh for the man I was. But I have changed. To be sure, the deeds of my past can never be completely atoned for, but my mission was an honorable one. I'm sorry, this is all a bit awkward. I, it's been a long time since I've attempted to persuade anyone of my intentions. Most of the people here have already made their minds up about me one way or another. I myself do not trust the words of most men, so I don't expect you to believe me. In the end, though, you may discover that I do have more than mere words to offer. Atrus's choice of punishment has been hard on the people of Riven, and many have suffered because of it. The island has been steadily decaying for years, but according to my most recent measurements, it appears that the Fifth Age has entered its final days. Unless the villagers can be relocated soon, the island will collapse entirely and everyone will perish. Activate Pac-Man. It has taken me a long time, Thanks for the follow. Wait, but it appears that finally I'll be able to make some substantial amends to my past transgressions, especially in... Well, I'm afraid I've had some trouble with Catherine and the moiety. In any society, there will always be a small percentage of the population with rebellious tendencies. Before Catherine appeared, the moiety, as they call themselves, had been relatively harmless. I mean, the natives here are a fairly violent people by nature, but I'd almost come to accept their presence. It seemed inevitable under the circumstances. Upon Catherine's return, however, their violence intensified considerably. It seems she's become some sort of 
religious savior to them. And as far as I can tell, she's come to believe this herself. So I've had no alternative. I had to separate her from her people. I must admit, though, that my concerns were not entirely for her safety alone. The actions of Catherine and the moiety have put my own life at risk on numerous occasions. Consequently, the lives of all the people here. Therefore, I must ask you to refrain from any attempt to free her. Although I'm sure Atrus desires it. Indeed, he must desire it with all his heart. But he is completely unaware of her recent state. Which brings me to the point of all of this. The linking book you brought with you. You're very fortunate to have recovered it. If I may. Thank you. Yeah, please. Be my guest. Wait, I have control of my mouse. Should I click on them? Perhaps it would be best if you went through first. No. <laughs> you may need some time to decide. That is reasonable. Until then, as a token of my good intentions, I will allow you free access to my linking books, crude though they may be, and to the rest of the fifth age. Please understand, there is nothing I want more than a chance to resolve matters between Atris and myself, especially in light of what has become of Catherine. But unless you are willing to demonstrate to me that your intentions are honorable, I cannot risk it. The sanctuary I've been writing for the Islanders is nearly complete. After all these years, it would be a shame if I were unable to finish it. The work I am doing is quite demanding. Please don't signal me unless you've decided to use the book. The switch will reset itself once you link from here. Okay, keep your save from the beginning of this area for there's a few ways things can go. That's what I figured. So should I save now or should or is it too late? I just wanna I just wanna know. That's an actual question, by the way. Not a rhetorical one. Like I I saved I think the, so I'm pretty sure the one ending that I didn't do was the one where he said, you go first. And then I was like, no. <laughs> uh, Cause I, yeah, okay. Well, um, hmm. 
When did I save last? I know I, I know I did just save. Okay, that goes to the third island. I saved before clicking the book in the dome. Okay. So, that's pretty good, I think. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save as, and we're going to do a new one. And... Yeah. Oh! We haven't been here. Yeah, we haven't been here. I almost want to check this out. I think so, Will. Okay. That seemed... Oh. We're, mo we're moving. Yafe <laughs> Adik... How'd you get past Ken? He must really believe I've gone mad. I know what he's doing. He's watching you. He's waiting for you to make a mistake. He's hoping you'll lead him back to Dunny. You can't let Gen... Atrus sent you to save me. But if Gen gets back to Dunny, he'll kill him. I think I know how to signal Atrus, but it's going to take both of us. You'll have to trap Gen before you can get the combination. Be careful. Go then. If you won't help me, then I have nothing more to say. Okay. So this is... Definitely, yeah, okay. So Gen can see into this room, we know that. Because this is the room that we could see in in the security camera. <laughs> well, what I'm calling the security camera. 
Uh, I can't look around. We'll just go back down. She said that we have to trap Gen before getting the code. Right? Oh, here he comes. I'm relieved you've returned. I thought perhaps you had decided against it. I shall follow you directly. Please. You're free to go. But... I think you should not come back unless you are willing to use the book. I mean, I can go back 
to one of these, but I don't know why I would. Like, I don't know what's there for me anymore. What happens if I press this button again? Nothing. Um, okay, no, this is I want to see if I can click on him while he's looking at the book. I hope I don't have to, like, listen to his whole dialogue again. No, it's not letting me skip. I apologize for the cage. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh Well, the late the later save was the later save was after like two was the later save was after he looked at it though. Oh. Okay, space freezes the game. Escape didn't do anything. No, it's it's not loading slow. It's not responding. <laughs> Hey. Let's do a good old restart. Yeah, let's start some music while this thing boots up. Yeah, again knows I'm on to him.
Um, it is on the screen. Well, I can't read it because my preview window is so small. It's from the X from Extreme G2. Also, exclamation point song should still work. There we go. Okay. I apologize for the cage. I'm afraid this situation has often required of me a more primitive code of conduct than I might otherwise have chosen. I am Gen. Escape doesn't do anything. I you've heard of me. Yes. Well, I suspect you have acquired some false information of who I am now. Not that my son would have lied to you about me. No, not Atrus. It's just that. Well, I'm sure he believes me. He, to still he be definitely the has that. Father, I once was. Like. Yes. I even tried to kill him once. God, if I had accomplished that, who knows what I would have become. Okay. Well, well I just want to. I just want to. I just want to go through this once. Thankfully, he trapped me on age five, a prison of my own creation. No books, no precious inks, no ages to link to, nothing but my own foolish ambitions. That was 30 years ago. 30 years, 30 lifetimes, what does it matter? No sentence could be too harsh for the man I was. But I have changed. To be sure, the deeds of my past can never be completely atoned for, but my mission was an honorable one. I'm sorry, this is all a bit awkward. I. It's been a long time since I've attempted to persuade any one of my intentions. Most of the people here have already made their minds up about me one way or another. I myself do not trust the words of most men, so I don't expect you to believe me. In the end, though, you may discover that I do have more than mere words to offer. Atrus's choice of punishment has been hard on the people of Riven, and many have suffered because of it. The island has been steadily decaying for years, but according to my most recent measurements, it appears that the Fifth Age has entered its final days. Unless the villagers can be relocated soon, the island will collapse Does have a cool vape. and everyone will perish. It has taken me a long time to do it, but it appears that finally I'll be able to make some substantial amends to my past transgressions, especially in... Well, I'm afraid I've had some trouble with Catherine and the moiety. In any society, there will always be a small percentage of the population with rebellious tendencies. Before Catherine appeared, the moiety, as they call themselves, had been relatively harmless. I mean, the natives here are a fairly violent people by nature, but I'd almost come to accept their presence 
It seemed inevitable under the circumstances. Upon Catherine's return, however, their violence intensified considerably. It seems she's become some sort of religious savior to them. And as far as I can tell, she's come to believe this herself. So I've had no alternative. I had to separate her from her people. I must admit, though, that my concerns were not entirely for her safety alone. The actions of Catherine and the moiety have put my own life at risk on numerous occasions. Consequently, the lives of all the people here. Therefore, I must ask you to refrain from any attempt to free her. Although I'm sure Atrus desires it. Indeed, he must desire it with all his heart. But he is completely unaware of her recent state. Which brings me to the point of all of this. The linking book you brought with you. You're very fortunate to have recovered it. If I may. Thank you. Okay, I'm clicking. Nothing. best if you went through first. Okay, I'm going to do it. I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. Okay. Not what I expected.
Okay, that's that's good. Okay, I'm doing a save game there. Uh, that's... that's it. <laughs> Pretty sure. Okay. I am here, yeah. Um, I don't... Okay, how long is this? <laughs> this is this stupid long too? It looks pretty long. But it looks easier to read though. Okay. We're going to read it. Okay. 86929. I start this latest journal with astounding news. Catherine has returned to the fifth age. And though it sets my teeth on edge to say it, she has also vanished as quickly as she appeared, stolen from me by the rebels. As my guard tells it, she linked into the Fisher Plateau cage, as I guessed, when suddenly he was set upon... Uh, as I guessed, when suddenly he was set upon by a band of rebels who darted who darted him and spirited her away. I suspect the truth of the matter was that he was dumbfounded at actually witnessing some link uh, in after all this, someone uh, witnessing someone link in after all this time that he presented an easy target for whichever rebel had happened by at that moment. The, the damnable luck of it. He did get a good enough look at her though to verify that it was indeed Catherine. He also had he also claims that he uh, inspected all of her belongings and found no linking book on her person. A fact which, if true, makes the question of why she's returned here all the all the more puzzling. <coughs> While I'm sick with frustration at having lost the only quarry 
that cage has ever caught, I am also filled with hope. She may yet provide me with a, ba with a way back to Dunny. It is true that I have managed, despite overwhelming odds, to break free of the confines of the Fifth Age and resume my mission to save my culture from extinction. But I fear that unless I am able to regain access to the vast resources that lie in, this, in the city's ruins, the task of reconstructing, reconstructing that great civilization will be impossible. If Catherine did bring a linking book with her, then I am halfway there. If not, then she is trapped in the Fifth Age, and I can assume that my emotionally crippled son will soon be along to rescue her. Either way, it is crucial to my plan that I find her soon. Her presence here now forces me to take the rebels more seriously. I should never have permitted them to survive this day. 8610 once again, the great Wark has demonstrated its usefulness to me. The past week, the villagers have been most difficult to manage. Apparently, they have learned of Catherine's uh, arrival, and their fear of the mythic beast has been all that has kept them in line. Had I known how truly useful these prodigious creatures would prove to be, I would have perhaps captured more of them while the local popula population was still plentiful. Although, to be sure, if these disturbances continue, my current pets will be in no danger of perishing for lack of nourishment. 8610.13 The search for Catherine continues. I, I now deeply regret my mistake of having ever taught these primitive people anything at all about the books. It seems that with each passing day, I'm more, e more s sorely realized the extent to which they were not ready for that knowledge, not even the simplified manners in which I had presented it to them. Their minds, adapted only to the exceptionally menial tasks of village life, were incapable of comprehending the art in all of the complexity and thus were unable to extract the essential underlying principles that are, ironically, so elegantly simple. It's obvious that much of the discord that exists between us stems from their failure to grasp the full meaning of the information, uh, the information I gave them. If they'd been able to gain even the smallest glimpse of the future I'd planned for them, then this conflict would not exist. The minds of children are much more malleable. With the proper instruction, they have developed a more appropriate posture towards the culture that gave them their lives. At times, they take it to almost at, they, at times they take it they take to it almost as if they had a bit of Dunny blood in them. Given the natives' inborn limitations, however, I am quite careful that uh, none gain a level of understanding that would permit them to sin against their future in a future the way that Catherine did. How foolish I was to think that she could contain knowledge responsi responsibly when it was quite clear that my own son could not. Atrus, still, he remains one of the greatest disappointments <laughs> of my life. Uh, I should never have left him with my mother. By the time I'd returned for him, he had already been poisoned as to all thoughts of the Dunny. Perhaps it was the only way that she could rationalize the fact that she had responsible for the collapse she had been responsible for the collapse of their civilization. So much destruction, so many great lives lost. The guilt must have been unbearable. I do have vague recollections of the love she had for my father and for my, for our world. But ultimately she was an outsider to she was an outsider whose ignorance of the dunny became the catalyst for their demise if i am able to rebuild our culture and in the process correct such crucial weaknesses then perhaps what she did was ultimately necessary in order that a new era of prosperity might someday come to pass 8714 these last few weeks i have found myself frequently beset by images from the past. 
As I stood in the schoolroom today, I was reminded of my own childhood. The years I spent in the Bookmakers Guild, father's immense pride at each of my small accomplishments there. He was an important man in the Dunny world, but I can't bear to think of him for too long. It's too much. I was too young to see such a thing. 87.2.8. I've got her. Late last night, I received word that Catherine was in the village attempting to persuade the people to join her. I lost two good men in the process, but I would have paid a hundred times that number for such a prize. She's been taken to the prison island, where I've been attempting to gain some insight as to the reason for her presence here. I've had to fight all, all but constant impulse to put her on the gallows. She has adopted the most infuriating stance only of only answering my questions when she answers them at all in her native tongue. Uh, even so, she is a poor liar, and I am now quite certain uh, that her return to Riven was unintentional and that she brought no linking book with her. As far as her unwillingness to share with me the location of the moiety, we shall see. Without their leader, however, they are once again powerless against me. If Catherine's coming here was indeed an accident, then Atris is bound to come for her. That is a given. The question I must now consider is, how will he do it? It is likely that his hesitation has been due, at least in, in part, to this dilemma. Wait, what? One way or another... Though, he'll have to bring a linking book to get back to Dunny. There's no other way. 87.620 It's late, and I cannot sleep. I've lost so much in my life. My people, my father, my son, and you, my wife, Kita. You were the only true kindness I have ever known. Watching you... Flicker? There in the oh yeah, watching you flicker there in the images, imagers. Sometimes I wonder if you were real. If I could restore your life with my pen, I would do so in an instant and leave the rest of the world to their own wretched fate. Eighty-seven, seven thirty. Damn these savages! I would be well advised to leave them all in the fifth age and begin again with a clean sheet of paper. Stranger has arrived on Riven with a linking book to Dunny, and once again my useless minion was overtaken by the rebels. From what I, from what little I could decipher from the muddled explanation, it apparently occurred sometime this morning. The cage has been damaged, but it is it is no matter. Everything I need is here now. Atros is certainly behind this. Yet how could he be so foolish as to send someone here with a linking book? Such blatant such blatancy uh, is unlike him. Could it be that he had a change of heart? After all of these years, is he finally letting his poor old father go? No. He is only after one thing. Perhaps he should find her. For now, I need only to wait and observe. All right. That wasn't that long. Okay, I just want to make sure I wrote down this... Uh, this thing correctly. Okay, I did, yes. Except I don't like the words I chose to write that down. Yeah, but I'm just saying that wasn't that long. Like I'm I'm used to like Catherine. Catherine wrote a like a like a novel. Okay. I only just now realized, Quinn, that you said that like ten minutes ago, so <laughs> Uh... 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. Two gen. I don't know what the rest of that says. I don't even think I want to go outside. It looks awful out there. Okay, well. Whoops. Oh, wait. Um, I don't know. Does this thing have to be turned on? Forgot what saving looks like. Yeah, Windows 98. There we go. Okay, um, which is which here? Okay, I, I need to reset. That was a refreshingly easy puzzle. <laughs> Compared to everything else that we've done recently.
We have to move quickly. Ken's people may already know what's happening. Once we're back with the moiety, we'll have time to regroup. Can I see the book? You did it. We're all free. You captured again. But there's still his followers. I'm not sure what they'll do once they realize he's gone. I'll have to get the villagers to safety as soon as possible. You go back to the Temple Island and reopen the fissure. I know it's risky, but it's the only way to signal Atrus. I'll try to make it back there as soon as I can, but don't wait for me. Don't forget, the portal combination's in my journal. Good luck. Yeah, I have that written down. Somewhere. Yeah, right there. Hello. Hello. Okay, I just took forever. All right. I'm just making new save. Well, no, this is game four. Let's just save it. What's the symbol here? Oh, it's like. I missed it. Oh. No? Oh, Will, you were right, actually. Will, you were right yesterday when you said the, the blue marble would be the marble. I just remembered that. We only found out tonight, but you were right. Okay. Uh, we want to go to that one.
Interesting. Oh, we, we already actually opened it. Okay, she, she told me to... I'm going to save again. She told me to break this, yeah? Broken. Very broken. There isn't much time. Where's Catherine? Where's the book? Atrus! I don't have I mean, Gen's, Gen's in the book, so... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Now I understand. Endings and beginnings are within the fissure. That riven cleft of stars that acts as both a wall and a bridge. And though I am unable to understand how, the very flow of stars that brought my miss book into worthy hands, I am sure served as a safe passage home for my friend. The age of Riven is closed forever, but the people of Riven are free. And now I am at rest. Understanding that in books, and ages, and life, the ending can never truly be written. Okay. Is that, is that the, is that, is that the good ending? Is that, is that a good ending? I don't know if it's, is that a good ending? That's the good ending. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't tell because we were just floating in space in the starfisher. Like, I don't know if that's a good ending. So, I th I think I think what happened was uh, I clicked the book 
And then he was like, oh, they went into the book. And then he was like, I'm going to go into the book now because obviously it's okay because they went into the book. And then our places swapped. So then he was trapped in the book. Yeah, prison book. So we were in the prison book for like a hot minute, and then he was like, oh, okay. Uh, I guess it's okay then. This isn't a trick book at all. But it was a trick book. It was still a trick book. That was the trick. <laughs> yeah. Atrus's family you've imprisoned count three. Well, okay. I did I actually imprison uh the brothers though? Because they were already imprisoned and then I don't know. I don't think I and then and then when we went back, there was just smoking holes where those books were, so I don't know what happened to those guys. <laughs> They they do they definitely do seem a bit dysfunctional, this this family. Oh yeah, that's right, the music the music doesn't uh doesn't last all the way through the credits. So Oh music. Oh no, that's, that's part of this song. <laughs> Victory tea for Jamie. Actually, I was kind of thinking of making some tea. There's a lot of bad endings you can get from the loading Gens world. You were, Quinn, you were being coy about you missed an ending. And it just happens to be uh, the good ending. But uh, yeah, have, have a good night, Quinn. Is, are the petting, are the pets not working? Hang on. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of figured that because he, because he asked again later on if I wanted to uh, yeah, do the pets work now? I don't know how many times I was pet tonight, but I'm just going to do a few here because I think people, because it wasn't working. I do like pets. I like being pet. Uh, am I going to continue through the series? Probably not right now. Um, I have other things I want to do, so I probably won't continue through the series right now. Uh, Riven took... This is the ninth... I think, yeah, this is the ninth Riven stream. So it took nine streams to get through Riven. 
It only took three to get through mist. And... Uh, yeah, I gotta say, like, at the end, of, or at the beginning of this stream, I was, like, fe I was feeling... Like, I just wanted to be done. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Symphony of the Night. Oh, uh, my PlayStation wasn't working. <laughs> So, um, it is now. Or at least it was yesterday. Yeah, I got my 3DO working, and then I was like, well, let's hook up the PlayStation. Let's actually properly hook up the PlayStation now. So the, the PlayStation's properly hooked up. Because before I was, like, swapping the video cables between the Genesis and the PlayStation. Because they take the same... Uh, they take the same cable, but with an adapter for component cables. Just different adapters, but it's the same cable. And I had a cable. Uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night is on Sega Saturn. I think I think I want to play it on PlayStation though. Pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I want to play it on PlayStation. So uh, I don't I don't know if that's going to be next though. I don't know if that's gonna be next. I gotta, I gotta see what I want to do. Um, Robbie got me a uh, a game for Christmas. It's, it's a bit more modern, but I might play that. Um. I don't know if I feel like going for all the different bad endings in here right now, either. But, the, uh... The good news is that my 3DO... There's nothing... I don't think there was anything wrong with my 3DO. And I don't think there's anything wrong with the ODE necessarily, either. It was just that the ODE, I think, was having issues with the, uh way that my SD card was formatted. So, uh, I recapped my 3DO for no reason. But, uh, I know that a lot of times they do need to be recapped. Those capacitors need to be replaced, so. Now, it's been done, so. You keep wanting to get me another game. You don't have to get me another game. Unless you really, really, really want to. Yeah, I spent an afternoon on my holidays recapping my 3DO. It took maybe two and a half, three hours. Maybe, maybe three and a half. I don't know how long. 